Hello guys, if you have a filament form to fill in address and then convert it to coordinates like latitude and longitude, for example to have objects on the map later, I want to show you a plugin to do exactly that with Google Places API. So here's a quick demonstration. It's not about one input, it's about five inputs actually. So this is the address where you start typing the address and these will be filled automatically. So let's start, for example, typing the mission ballroom where Laracon US will take place. And for the first time in my life, I will travel to Laracon US this year in 2025. So if we type in the mission ballroom and wait for a few seconds, it performs the search on Google and then provides the address by object name. It doesn't necessarily have to be the address. And then you click and then those details are filled in automatically. Or for example, you start typing the address, for example, in my Lithuania, in the capital Vilnius, but this address apparently exists not only in Vilnius, Lithuania, but again, I take one of the options and those are filled in automatically. And the plugin for that is called Google Autocomplete Field, created by TAP Network Digital Agency. How to use it in the documentation? Of course, Compose require vendor publish, and then this is probably the most important thing, your Google Places API key. And from my experience working with Google APIs and external APIs, it's tricky to get API keys. So this may be more tricky than to actually install the plugin in Filament. And for that, you need to go to API keys with Places API, for example. You can Google that. And then you need to create API keys, go to credential page, and enable specifically Places API key. And keep in mind, there are two Google Places APIs, so-called old or new. And this package supports both. Just keep in mind which one you have enabled and keep in mind this is not free. I'm not sure about the pricing at the moment. I'm using my old API key, which I created a few years ago. And from what I remember, some part is free until some usage and then it starts to be paid, but you need to put your credit card details to start using it. So you put your API key in your .env file, and then to use it in the code, Google Autocomplete Make, and then you provide as many parameters and functions as you want. For example, enable countries, enable fields or disable fields. Then also you can change the form layout like this. And this is what I mentioned by old and new places API. Just make sure which you are using. And in this project, this is an example from property owner side of our one of the latest project about filament tenant room booking on filamentexamples.com. And in the code, we have something like this. So property resource in the owner panel. And in the schema, we have Google Autocomplete, Places API New. And I provide the fields for address, city, country, and coordinates. And out of those four fields, three are exactly as they are provided in the form. So address, country, and coordinates. But for city, it's different because in that project, we have a drop down by city. So we need to have cities as a separate database table. So for that, in addition to that property resource, there's create property of that property resource pages. And here we have a method called mutate from data before create. And we assign that city either to something that is found in the database or create a new city and then still assign it. So what do you think about this filament plugin? Will you use it yourself or do you have any alternative that you can use? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.